Today on Sci Guys, burning steel wool. Welcome to Sci Guys, I'm Ryan. And I'm Teresa, and today we're going to be burning steel wool. Hey Teresa, does steel wool come from steel sheep? Yes. Yes, it does. Combustion is a rapid chemical reaction that combines a substance with oxygen to produce oxides, light, and heat. The equipment you're going to need for this episode includes a couple of bundles of steel wool, nine volt batteries, four aluminum foil tart tins, and two aluminum foil sheets, and just in case, a fire extinguisher. When you go out to buy steel wool for this experiment, make sure to purchase the super fine or extra fine thickness of steel wool. Thicker types of steel wool won't work for this experiment. The safety equipment you're going to need for this experiment includes heat resistant gloves, goggles, and an apron or lab coat. Also, because we're dealing with fire, you need to do this outdoors in a well ventilated area, and for our younger viewers, adult supervision is required. The first step is to build an air barrier to do our experiment on. Take your four tart tins and place them in the four corners of your first aluminum foil sheet. Then place the second aluminum foil sheet on top of the four tart tins. Next, take your steel wool and pull it apart slightly so oxygen can get in. Place it on your tray and touch it with the battery. When you touch the 9 volt battery to the steel wool, it will glow and spark as it quickly combusts. Do not touch the steel wool during this reaction. The combustion in this reaction produces heat at very high temperatures. If we repeat this experiment, but this time spread the steel wool further apart, giving it a much larger surface area, and time it, you'll notice that combustion occurs and completes at a faster rate. If we watch that one more time, but this time zoomed up close and in the dark, you can see how exceptionally bright the steel wool glows and easily follow the reaction as it travels through the thin wires. If you weigh the steel wool before and after this experiment, you'll notice that once the reaction is complete, the steel wool will have a greater weight than what it started with. Let's look at this experiment a little closer. Steel is an iron alloy. Alloys are metals made by mixing two or more metallic elements together, in some cases to increase strength while remaining lightweight or to increase the metal's resistance to corrosion. The particular alloy in this experiment is made up of around 98% iron with 2% carbon mixed in. Steel is a great conductor of electricity, and when a 9 volt battery is touched to the fine strands of steel wool, electrons are released, creating a current which is sent through the conductive steel wires. When an electrical current travels through a conductor, like the steel wool, the electrons collide into the atoms of the conductor. The collisions slow down the electrons, causing the metal to heat up. Think of it like friction. As friction slows down an object, heat is produced. The collisions within our conductor are known as electrical resistance. The strands of steel are so fine that the current and its collisions causes the wire to heat up above 700 degrees Celsius. At these temperatures, the wire short circuits and the iron molecules combust, reacting with the oxygen in the air to create an oxide called iron oxide. An oxide is a chemical compound that contains at least one oxygen atom and one other element in its chemical formula. The reaction of creating iron oxide produces light and heat. The heat transfers to neighboring iron molecules, causing them to oxidize into more iron oxide. This reaction continues throughout the steel wool until all the iron is used up or the energy from the heat of the reaction is lost. Spreading apart the steel wool increases the surface area which increases the amount of oxygen available for combustion, which speeds up the rate at which the reaction occurs. The reason the steel wool is heavier at the end of the experiment is because of the additional mass from the oxygen atoms that make up the iron oxide. That's it for burning steel wool. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, let us know in the comments below and subscribe for future episodes. And remember to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you have any questions related to this episode or about science in general, let us know in the comments below or message us on Facebook and we'll try to help you as best possible. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Man, we used a lot of steel wool in that episode. I hope the sheep aren't cold. I'm sure they're fine. Here at Sci Guys, we're always curious how experiments turn out. So if you do these experiments at home, share a video or photo of them with us on our Facebook or Google Plus page. But remember to always ask your parents' permission before you share any photos or videos.